In today's video, I am going to show you how you can perform general mapping using the Burroughs Wheeler Aligner software, or BWA for short. And so for this tutorial, in order for you to follow it, you need to make sure you have a unit like operating system, i.e. Linux or Mac OS. And you also need to make sure you have BWA installed. I already have separate tutorials that show you how to install BWA, so you can just watch those videos to set up your PC. So that is it. Now for this tutorial, we are going to map some FASTQ files. Okay, we are going to map the reads to a reference genome. We are going to use paired and reads. And so the data we are going to use, I obtained it from this particular paper here. So it's um, a whole genome sequence of a microbiome Oswans isolates. And this is the paper in case you want to read about this paper here. So the data is available on the SRA archive. And so this is the page as well. Okay, I will leave the link to this page in the description box. I will also leave the link to this paper in the description box so any of them uh, you can get it. Because we are going to map the reads to a reference genome, we also need to get the reference sequence. So that is available on the NCBI platform. And I'll leave the link to this page also in the description box. So take note of that. So that's it. So that's just about it. Okay, so let's first go to the terminal and then start some work. Okay, so on the terminal, the first thing I will do is to create a directory so this directory is where i will be working in so i'll say make the mapping and then i'll see it works okay so now i am ready to start the work so i will go back to the browser and then i'll first get the fast your files okay so because i'm using third and reads i need the read one and then read two so this is the page so i have the links here now you can download by clicking or you can also use the terminal to download because i will download using the terminal i will get the download link so let me first get this one the read one i'll just copy it and move to the terminal so on the terminal i'll use we get to download so i'll say you get I will supply it with a link and then I will download. Okay, so read one has been downloaded. Let's go to read two. Okay, so I'll get the link for read two. Let's go back to the terminal. We get Suppliers with a link and download. Okay, read two has also been downloaded. Now let's download the reference sequence. The link to this page is in the description box. Okay, so here just come to the send to button, click it, make sure complete record is checked. When you come to choose destination, select file. When you come to format, select first A. And then click on the create file button. And then save it. So I will save it here. I will give it a name. agy99.fastA. And then I will save it. So let me open the terminal again. Let me clear the screen and then do an ls. So I am going to have all my files. Okay, so I have my reference sequence. I have my paired and read. So it's time. Now before we do the mapping, we need to first index the reference sequence. We need to index it. Indexing helps programs to do a faster lookup. So let's create a directory called index and then let's move the reference sequence there. So and then agy99.fastA. I'll move to the index directory and then I'll call bwa and then specify the index command. So I'll say bwa index 
and then I'll specify the part with the first A, which is index agy 99.first A, and then I run this command. Okay, so indexing has been done. So do an ls into that directory, and you see that in addition to the first A file, there are other files here. So these ones were created by BWA when we use the index command. Okay, so now we are ready to start the mapping. Okay, so let's first clear the screen and then do an ls again. Okay, now we are ready. So to map the race to a reference genome, we say BWA and we type men. And then I'll say dash T8, indicating I want to use H threads. You can increase it if you have more CPUs. So take note of that. I'll specify the index. So I'll say index slash agy 99fastA and then I'll specify my reads. I'll start with the read one. And then I'll also add the read two. Perfect, so now I'll specify an output file. I'll save it as a sum file. So I'll say output.sum and then I'll run this command. Okay, so the mapping has been done. Let's clear the screen and continue. Let's do an ls and you will see the output file here, which is a sum file. What we are going to do next is to convert the sum file to a bound file. Sum files are large, and so we normally convert them to bound files because bound files always occupy a smaller space. So let's convert. So to convert, I'll say some tools view. And then I'll say dash b. And then I will specify the outputs dot sum file. And then I'll specify the new name, which is output.bam. So what we are doing is that we are converting this sum file here to a BAM file. That is what this command is doing for us. So let's run this command. Okay, so the BAM file has been generated. Now let me show you why we always convert to a BAM file. So let's check the sizes. I'll start with the sum file. So I'll say du-sh output.sum. Look at the size, 318 MB. Let's check the size for the BAM file. So, it's 100 megabytes. So you can see that the SAM file is uh, more than three times the size of the BAM file. So uh, that is why. So let's remove the SAM file. We don't need it anymore. So I'll remove it now. Perfect. So now I have the BAM file. The next thing I have to do is to sort. Okay. Um, for downstream analysis, some of the programs require that you sort. Uh, you sort your your BAM files. Okay. They require a sorted BAM file. Okay. So with the sorting, you can sort by coordinator. You can also sort by name. I mean, so depend on um, the program's requirements then you use the appropriate uh, methods to sort. So for this tutorial, I am going to sort by coordinates. So I'll do it this way. I'll say sum tools sort dash O. So I am specifying the output file. So I'll say output.sorted.bam and then I'm going to specify my input file, which is the original BAM file, which is output.bam. So notice the difference in names. This is output.bam, this is output.sorted.bam. When you are analyzing bioinformatics data, it's important to have a naming conversion. That helps you to 
um, understand the outputs. It's also a way to describe the output so that if other people are checking the files, they will have an idea of what the files are. So take note of that. So let's run this command to sort. Okay, so we have sorted the BAM file. Let's do an ls to check the files. So we have the files there. So this is a sorted one. This is the original BAM file. Perfect. Okay, now you realize that we had to go through a number of um, steps to get the sorted BAM file. So we started with this one here the bwmm and then we have to convert the sum file to a bam file we have to remove the sum file and we also have to sort the bam file okay so uh, for all these steps we can combine all of them into a single command so i'm going to show you that as well so let's first proceed let's first remove the bam files so I remove this one and I remove the sorted one as well. Perfect. So I'm going to show you this one line command that can be used to get everything. So let's proceed. So that one, I'll say BWMN again, dash T8. And then I'll specify. my reference which is in the index directory and then i'll specify my read one read two and then when i come here i'll use a pipe command and i'll say some tools sorts dash o and i'll specify the output so i will say outputs dot sorted dot bam Okay, so notice that with this command, we don't even convert to a sum file. Everything is straightforward here. So you can use this command as well. This is relatively faster. So take note of that. So I'll run this command to get my sorted BAM file. Okay, so the mapping has been done. Let's clear the screen and continue. Do an ls and you will find your file there. Now, some programs also require that the BAM files that you supply are indexed. So, you also have to index the BAM files. Tools like GATK will require that. So, to index um, the BAM file, you say some tools index and then we specify the BAM file like this perfect so if you do an ls again you will see this dot bi here so this indicates that we have indexed it so this is the index file perfect so now we have our BAM file we have done the mapping now after mapping it's also advisable that you perform quality control so with the quality control, one of the things you can do is to check the mapping statistics. I will cover this particular quality control um, aspect in another video, but I will just give you some um, few uh, tips here. So to get the mapping statistics, you can use some tools. So you can say some tools flag stats and we specify the BAM file, which is the alignment file like this, and then we run it. So once you do that, you have some statistics here. So I'll just take you through some of them. I will start with this one here, this first line here. So this first line here tells us which reads uh, pass the QC. And so here we have this, and then this will give us the total reads. And so what we have here indicates we have 577,690 
reads okay class zero so this indicates that this right here the reads here these are the number of reads that pass a qc and zero reads show the qc so this indicates none of the reads here um, show the qc that is the interpretation here let me also take you through this one here so here we also have a number of reads here okay so and we have this so here what this indicates or means is that 88.76 percent of the uh, reads uh, mapped to the reference genome okay uh, they mapped uh, correctly so that is what it means uh, let me just send you to the flag start page yeah so here you can also read more about this and then look at uh, what options you can add to um, get some additional information about the mapping i will leave this link in the description box you can also check the github page and i saw this page which i also think it's also very cool you can also check this to read more about um, some tools flat start so i will leave this link also, also in the description box as well okay so just get the documentation and read more about it perfect now let's go back so now that you have your BAM file you can choose to do your downstream analysis so after generating BAM files if you are let's say uh, doing whole genome um, sequence analysis then uh, you can perform your variant calling which I've covered um, some of them I've covered one using BCF2 you can watch you can also if you are if you are dealing with RNA seq um, data, then you can proceed to um, estimate your 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 gene abundances or count the features. Those are things you can also do from here. But these are things that I am going to um, talk about in later tutorial. So that'll be all for this tutorial. So if you also want to support this channel, there's a buy me a coffee link you can use to support this channel. So. Um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.